In October 2015, this came about. Bootstrap Studio was born to the world. And this is a fantastic idea about how you can build responsive websites using Bootstrap Framework, as it says here. And straight away, I think it was probably the next day or the day after that, I bought Bootstrap Studio. One, it could be uh, used on three computers, which I always need more than one. Um, another is it can be used on Linux as well. So for me, Windows and Linux was a, an absolute. So I went round it and it was very, very basic at that time. But I thought it's got some really good ideas, this. And it started growing. And within about three or four years, it really was a, an amazing thing. However, computers in the modern age and things and web design in general has really, really changed. And I've thought for a while now that there's not really um, much much work or anything like that for a modern web developer or designer. For big companies, there'll always be some, uh, some revenue and that there. But for most people, and, and for a lot of people I know, uh, a lot of people just use the phones for apps and things like that. So i got to think, there's a few people who've done Bootstrap studio videos over the years um, and I'll show you a few here this is uh, one on the right here so this is bootstrap studio full course in two hours um, that's just one of them there's been many people say well I can do videos better than you well that, that may be true whatever it doesn't really matter to me that and this was, um, this here was done by Easy to Code. So I think this chap does quite a lot of coding for phones and many other things. And if we go to Paul Sale, um, he's from England, uh, Code Chair he's got, and he does a lot of coding, as, uh, coding videos as well. Um, and he's done quite a few, well, a few on uh, Bootstrap Studio, but they're all going back from a long time. You know, the, the all these videos, um, the other chap I've just said, I think that was six months, so it's not long, but it, you need more than two hours to go through a whole Bootstrap Studio vid. And so Bootstrap Studio themselves, if we look at this, and we've got that. So in the last year, they've done six videos seven videos um and what i've always tried to do is, is keep up with this thing um and <laughs> even though i like sort of I, i've thought well there's not really much you can talk about not now because it's all being done um so i've got i've tried to do more on data at the moment and um, take advantage of bootstrap studio one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight. So in the last year, I've done eleven videos. I think that is. Um, so I'm still trying to like bring them out and things like that. But there's nothing really. To add. They've got e-commerce. They've got all sorts of things. There's not really anything to do. It's a, it's a very, you know, the evolution of it is now like finished. Really, there's only bits and pieces that they can do to it. And just what, I mean, it's, it's open discussion, really. I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, for me, I don't know one person who's doing web development, whereas before, um, a few years ago, people were, you know, like sort of trying to be freelance and things like that. But I just, I just don't see it. I mean, for me personally, I've never had any web design work for absolutely a couple of years, easy. Um, and there's just, there's just not the market for it. There's market for business and there's market for big companies, but there's not. There's things that's just apps and stuff like that, and I just feel as though that, uh, you know, doing videos on something that I don't actually believe in myself no more is, is a bit hypocritical. Um, but if anybody's got any ideas on where to take this, um, I'd be happy to know. But if anybody's really interested in uh, doing you know, I mean, having skills in web design, that's another thing for personal development. But really, I mean, the, where, like, sort of computers are at the moment is ethical hacking. 
that's a massive thing and that's got plenty of money in it that if you can do that and like what i've tried to do on here which data forensics and cyber security are totally different things there is an overlap in some things but really they're, they're not alike um like sort of where i've used like autopsy and ftk in here they're professional tools and what you do is uh i mean you need training in them but there's there is good money and there's there's you know like if that's what you want to do but hey so i open that up for discussion and uh, once again thanks for listening thanks for watching